Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Jurassic World Hunt and Chomp Tyrannosaurus Rex. This guy just came out in Canada at least a week or two ago, and it finally popped up in Alberta. So I picked this guy up. Um, it was at Toys R Us for about sixty or seventy dollars. Pretty pricey, but this guy is insane. It has a really fun action feature. And of course it is desert themed, um, which a lot of the figures in this new um, Dino Trackers lineup are, especially with the box sets and larger figures. So initially when I first saw this figure online, I did not like the color scheme, but now having it in person, it looks a lot better. Um, one of my pet peeves is there's this line going down where the paint just immediately stops on the head. That is very, um, interesting to uh, spot out from um, a close-up angle but from afar it actually looks not too bad um, you can see on the back of the box here it has the double chomp action feature as well as the um, tracking gear included which goes on the head and then it shows the little pop-up scanner there um, and of course it has um, audio effects too So those are the little chomp sound effects. So they're very short, and then these are the big chomps. So they're a little bit longer. Oh wait, actually they're just the sound, same sound effects, <laughs> never mind. But yeah, so the inside of the mouth is um, all solid um, plastic. So none of that painted. The teeth are also rubbery. These are not painted, they're separate teeth. So there's no worries about those getting scuffed paint-wise. Um, the eye is highlighted by this brown and then the orange really stands out with the rest of like the beige color body. There's no paint on the um, fingernails. I think these arms kind of look like the uh, the same ones from the uh, Camp Cretaceous Rex, actually. Um, so let's get this figure out of the box. I think the feet are stuck in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some um, surgery with the box. So let's see. I gotta cut this. Um, I think it might also be glued. Yeah, it's also glued, darn. Um, so we're gonna have to actually rip that open. And there's tape on the top too, so let's grab that. There we go. And now let's see what we're dealing with. So the tail um, can just be pulled out like that. Um, but the bottoms of the feet, I think both of them might be this weird twist system. Um, let's see, one of them is free, I think. Nope. No, it's both of them, darn. So I gotta really dig deep. Um, you can see on the back of the box too while I'm struggling that there is the, um, uh, the two latest um, mid-large size figures. So let's pop the legs out. There we go. Oh, my camera is running out of um, film time. I've got four minutes, so let's make this fast. So here's the figure, um, the neck does not have articulation, it just has the action feature where it twists, and it only twists one way. Um, you can twist it the other way by hand, but you kind of force it, so I'd, I'd suggest not. There's no paint on the tail, that is so unfortunate, um, just kind of pop it in there. Tail, that's cool that they got the pink, um, pink's pretty neat. Um, you can rotate the tail, so if you pop it in wrong, you can get the positioning right. It's a pretty decently long tail. Um, but yeah, I know I like the stripes on the back and this kind of sandy um, color over top of the beige um, and over top of the eyes. So that's pretty neat. And the arms have articulation forward and back and they kind of splay outside the side, but they're rubbery. Uh, the toes are painted. That's pretty nice. Uh, the feet are the same as the um, um, 93 classic feet where one of the feet has a ton of these armor plating on the toes and one of the the other foot has like practically none so it's kind of weird you can see there's a ton on this one and barely any on that one um so that's kind of sad but 
That's chill. So this guy's around the size of that one because it's got the same feet and legs. So let's get that capture. Wait, this isn't capture gear. This is a tracking gear out. Um, so I'll just kind of cut the plastic there. Uh, I might need to cut it a little bit more. So, like I said in previous videos, it's very neat that they're doing a lot of these figures as desert themed. Um, so the playset, the um, uh, Jeep playset is also desert themed, and the, I think the Indoraptor is also desert themed. So, um, oh, there you go. Little uh, little clip comes off, and then you put that around the neck. So this goes around the eye, and there's like a, either a laser pointer or a light, or maybe a camera there. Um, and then you can kind of just um, strap that in. It's all rubbery, very loose rubber, um, so it can come on and off easily and be fastened. Um, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, it's cute. So it's cool that now we've got a desert T-Rex. Kind of stands out from the rest with uh, this lighter coloration. I know we've got like green Rexes and stuff, but together with the play sets, it fits in really nicely to the desert theme. You can see that Diabloceratops also has that similar beige uh, coloring on the bottom of the leg. But yeah, I think it's nice um, that we're getting these different environmental like biomes with the dinosaurs themed after them uh, because now you can really um, bring certain elements to life with like uh, photography and play and it kind of ties together with a little storyline which is really cute. Um, but yeah, no, uh, definitely one of my favorite themes and my favorite assortment in the theme is definitely the desert. I've got one minute left, um, so I'll do another video on the Rex. I'll compare it to other T-Rexes. Be sure to keep an eye out for that video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Sorry that I had to cut it short, but I'll make up for it in other videos. Um, ciao for now. Uh, subscribe, like, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.